Hey, what's up guys? Sorry, I got a warhead in my mouth. What's up guys? It's Arden here. And sorry it's kind of dark. Uh, decided to do this when it's a little cool outside. But uh, we're going with the second mod of the Altima. Um, and that is, we're going to change the interior lights to a like white colored LED. Um, I've got eight bulbs, which I think I can do all the interior lights, except for the glove no, I can do the glove box. All the interior lights, including the glove box and the um, license plate lights. So we're we're gonna do all of those. I probably won't do all of them today, but I'll show you the kind of the process. I'll probably just do it and then show you guys afterwards. But all the interior lights are, you know, the usual color. So that will be changed. I'm going to go ahead and try, probably do the dome light right here first, and then I'll do the map lights, and then probably the glove box, and then courtesy lights. So, here we go. Let's start this process. Uh, unfortunately, the dome light right there was a little bit different. The bulb was a little bit different um, than what I got, so I couldn't do it. But I do have the map light, one of the map lights done. But check that out. That looks so much better than the other one. This is obviously, this right here is the new one and that right there is the old one. It looks 10 times better. I'm loving it. Let me get the other one done. All right, both are done. Well, unfortunately I couldn't do all of them because some require different tools and the dome light was a different bulb, but I got another warhead. But I ended up doing the map lights, the courtesy lights, and the trunk so all that's left is the glove box and the glove box bulb I couldn't like get to I don't know it was in a weird spot I think I might have to do undo a couple screws and I just don't have the time or tools for that here at the apartment but um, and then I'm gonna do the hopefully the glove box and the rear license plate lights because that's what i'm gonna do next take these same bulbs because i literally have three bulbs left and that would end up being perfect and then i could get the dome light later probably tomorrow is when i plan to get it but yeah uh it'll have to be another day till when i finish it hey guys uh, i'm sorry it's dark but i just i just did the dome light it's done so uh, i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like at night those shots weren't the best it was kind of hard to because i tried my camera and it was way too dark like i don't know what it was with my camera so i did them with my phone but uh it may not do it justice on video but i promise it's a lot brighter and it looks a lot cleaner and nicer i promise it doesn't look all all nasty it's really clean looking uh this is de it's definitely one of the cheapest and best mods you can do to your car um i'm gonna, I'm gonna put a list right here of the bulbs that i used and where uh all all of the bulbs were the same except for the glove box and the uh dome light i don't know why those were those were different the uh i haven't done the glove box yet because uh, it looks like you have to take out the glove box or take off a panel that uh, requires a screwdriver and i don't have a regular screwdriver all i have is a flathead so I'll have to do that on another day. And I haven't done the license plate uh, lights yet because I need uh, a socket and some pliers and I don't have that here. So I'll have to do that whenever I go home. And But I have the bulb already for those. So yeah, uh, great mod. It's, it's, I could have, I could have, uh, 
one i could have got i could have got broader lights definitely i could have got broader ones if i just ordered them online but i literally just went to advance auto and uh went and got them they have them in stock usually uh but i could i could have saved a lot more money and got brighter bulbs but i just kind of wanted to do it and uh get it over with so i just went plus i'm moving so i don't have uh, i'm afraid if i order them they'll come to this address and not the new address or it'll it'll go to the new address before i even move to the new address so i didn't want to worry about that so uh I just went ahead and bought them in person at advance, so made it easier, I guess. But I could have saved money and got brighter bulbs too, but oh well, it is what it is. But I appreciate everybody watching. Um, hopefully some more mods will come in the near future. Uh, I may not have any videos for the next couple of weeks because I'm, I move into a new apartment like in a week or so. So. I'll be doing a lot of moving and a lot of setting up and all that good stuff. So I won't be doing anything to the car. I won't be going to anything either. So that videos will probably be put on hold on this channel and my other channel. Uh, cause I got to tear down my setup fairly soon before we move so I can get it set up at the new place. But, uh, I appreciate everybody watching. Um, I'm thinking next thing to do to the Altima would be, um, I'm going to get brand new headlight housings. I'm going to get some black ones with the projectors, with the halo rings and all that good stuff. Uh, I'm thinking that will be the next one, the next mod that I do because uh, one headlight housing is brand new and one is really, really, really foggy. And that's because uh, they hit a deer on that one side, so they replaced that housing, but they didn't replace the other side. So one side looks brand new and one side doesn't, and it looks terrible. So that'll probably be the next thing I do. After that, I'm thinking exhaust because I have never, uh, I take that back. I've, I had a Jeep CJ7 that had some exhaust and a, a GMC Canyon, but that was like a four cylinder truck that, I mean, it wasn't that great, but the, the Jeep had a V8 and it sounded, it sounded nice, but that's an old car. It deserves exhaust. I never had a daily driver with like good, nice sounding exhaust. So thinking I'm going to do that next. Um, after I do the headlights, headlights will be first thing because they just look terrible. Uh, then I'll probably do exhaust. And then who knows after that, uh, we'll have to see where money gets me and all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, appreciate everybody watching. Stay tuned for the next updates on the Ultima. Thank you.